Odessa, I have come for you. Yes, that is right. PS1, Hagrid. Your sins must be cleansed, Odessa, one way or another. But tell me, Mr. Cubbage, are you ready? To face the tribulations that will face you once you went. <laughs> is that what I think it is? <laughs> Odessa, you didn't tell me you were a brony. Oh yes, that changes things quite a bit. <sighs> Wait, what? How do I know you? Uh, 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 oh yeah, th th there's this one thing that... Alright, you caught me. Let me just take this heavy-ass suit off real quick. Ah, much better. We have, well, our own version, I guess you could say, of Hogwarts Legacy. But, just in case you don't want to flush out the money, well, you can always pirate the game. But you didn't hear that from me. But of course, you guys know me. We're doing it the Gmod way. We've done this with Cyberpunk. I think we did it with Doom. And then maybe we've done it with Minecraft. We try to download as many relevant mods as we can to turn, well, Gary's mod into said game. And we are doing that today. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a magical adventure if we didn't have our own character model. And that's going to be the first mod we take a look at today. And I am, of course, well, Professor Snape. Now, having seen this, you might think, well, since your favorite character Snape, you might like Slytherin, right? Uh, well, no. I am all about Ravenclaw, baby. If you guys don't know, blue is my favorite color, obviously, from the channel. And Ravenclaw is the one I'm going for. I am excited to play. But we can't play anything without a wand. Now, having said that, of course, guys, first, I do just want to explore a bit of this map because it is massive. And there it is, guys, Hogwarts Castle, the school of witchcraft and wizardry. This map is used in a lot of RP servers. I've actually played on the RP myself. It is absolutely hilarious. I recommend giving it a shot. But we're not here to play roleplay. We're here to freaking do some spells. And if there's a blinding spell, I need to use that to rid myself of ever having to watch the horror that was the last mod we showcased. But this is the Magic Wand Rewrite. We did take a look at this quite a while ago. Oh man, I just, I love this. This is such a cool map, guys. Here's Gryffindor's uh, homeroom, which we don't want to be in because, ugh, Gryffindor. If you guys can't tell, I am a little too hyped, so this is going to be a very enjoyable video for me. Now, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but I've recently come into the series again since my childhood, and it's been a treat. So, with this mod, you can right-click and have access to all your spells. Like I said, I have done a video on this before, but this is just kind of going to be a, a remake, I guess. We have access to all the spells here by, um, well, category, which is really awesome. We have wand skins to choose your wand. So if you want the dark wand, the demonic wand, the fork, my personal favorite, of course. Or even your hands. Yes, this is a thing. Oh my god, Snape. Clean your fingernails, man. Alright guys, I have to leave before I get sick, so we are going to, obviously the best dorm room there is, Ravenclaw. Which, oddly enough, has an eagle as its, um, icon. Yeah, don't ask me why. Alright, so going back into this, we can also adjust spell bindings. We can make different bindings, which is also really cool. Now, we're not going to do that. We're going to go right into the settings because there's something important that we need to do. Going into the help stuff setting, we can learn all the spells. Because normally you have to kind of, like, work your way through spells and stuff, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and actually just do that. Learn all the spells. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and open this back up. Now we're going to take a look at some of these spells. We have Alo Alohomora. Uh, this lets you unlock any door, right? Haha! See, I'm not a total idiot. Now, obviously, this works if you do lock doors. Wait, does it actually lock things, too? Unlocks and opens, hacks keypads that are not protected by magic. Really cool, guys. Like, seriously, super cool. Now, I'm going to use the dark wand so it looks more magical. Alright, so I just want to say right off the bat, I am not going to be able to showcase every single one of these spells because they all do so many different things. But I am going to go over some of my favorites. We're going to start with something basic. We have Bombarda. And Bombarda is, I think it's like a basic... Okay, so this one is used to bust open doors. Uh, I actually want to see if it does work on these doors. 
And it does not appear so. So we're going to go on to the next one. All right, we have Dragonair. And this one is a highly explosive spell. And that's going to be very useful in fights or when you just want to blow some shit up. And if you guys know me, that's what I live for. Next up, we have Grenadio. I don't think this is from this series. I think this is made for the mod specifically. But pretty much, like the name implies, it spawns a grenade right where you're aiming at. Now, I was playing with this mod with my friend Brandon you guys know who Brandon is of course and it was a lot of fun and I really wanted to record it because we were just messing around with these spells on this map for like an hour long so I really should have been recording that but that was a few days ago and it was like super late so I ended up not doing it I wanted him to be in this video but unfortunately he is asleep so Brandon just know I'm thinking about you man he's also a huge Harry Potter fan so I'm sure he's excited for tomorrow next up we have Forb Fire this one is going to be a Deadly, deadly spell. Holy cow. So it's a more powerful version of the Dragonair. Or is it Dragonair? Guys, I'm going to be mispronouncing a lot of these. If you remember my original video on this, it is a hogwash cringe fest of me mispronouncing all the spells. And uh, it, it's really no different here. This one is definitely way more effective though. Next up, we have a trap curse. This one is going to lay down a trap. So seemingly, it's not going to do anything at first. But of course, if your unsuspecting friend or enemy were to cross paths with said mine... Uh, okay, come on, Odessa, you have to walk. Alright, so these are all destroying and explosive spells. Let's go into more generic fighting spells. We have Arrow Shooting Spell. That is the most straightforward name I think we've seen thus far and probably will ever see. So this shoots what seems to be like a harpoon. Is that what that is? Uh, just shoots straight forward... Oh, yeah, man, that would hurt. All right, guys, this one is one of my favorite spells. I did this on Brandon so many times. It's the disarming spell. With one flick of the wrist, your enemy now no longer has a weapon. We have the hail of bullets. Turns your wand into a mother effing gat. <laughs> I could say that with a straight face. Okay, we also have hail of bullets duo. Oh, yeah. Screw Harry Potter, I'm playing Call of Duty now. Now I think it's safe to also appreciate and talk about some of the most basic damaging spells, like Dwisp. This is just your cliche damaging spell, a little bit more powerful than the original one. Now we're gonna go on to Immobilis. Oh, that is awesome. Just slow-mo sends them flying back as a ragdoll. Wait, did they get back up? Immobilizing living target. Wait, can we do it to ourselves? Guys, if you want to do spells on yourself, hold backspace while you press left click. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, he got back up. Wait, time out. Well, at least we can say that the spell works just fine. Oh my god, I can't even like move, man. There we go. All right, Impedimenta. This one is going to slow down your target. I don't think he knows what to do. Okay, I think he's got something wrong with him. Let's go ahead and alleviate that with uh, Mimble Wimble. Oh god, what did that do? Ow! Prevents your opponent from casting spells for 10 seconds. Well, that's not going to help us. Uh, Mastro? Oh, it's just a simple damaging spell. Okay, uh, yeah. Hiya! All right, we need something a little bit more powerful. Let's go with, uh, let's do some Stupefy. All right, it is a stunner. Let's go ahead and... Oh! All right, I think that did the trick. All right, guys, this one I'm really excited about. We have Wadi Wasi. And this one is going to throw the nearest object that you're aiming at, or at least the object that you cast the spell on. It's going to throw that object to the nearest NPC. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. All right, now it's time to summon the most dangerous spell there is, Green Sparks. You ready? Yeah, it's, it's just a green spark. It's nothing too crazy. All right, so we're feeling a little dull. We're gonna go ahead and just heal ourselves using Helium. Definitely a very nice spell. You don't get no healing, Odessa. But what you do get is Crucio. He is now going to be tortured until he eventually dies. So there's even more than just that, guys. We have the Holy Hell. Uh, that doesn't sound too fun. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God, what's going on? This one causes you to have horrendous hallucinations. Oh, oh the world's ending. Oh, my God. That's Father Grigori. Oh, was that me? And there's giant bug bait in the sky. 
All right, so if you really want to curse your friends and scare the living hell out of them, guys, this is dead. Wait, is there something out there? Unfortunately, dying is not going to save you, as we can see. All right, that was a fun trip. Um, not. Definitely don't do that on your friends unless you absolutely hate them. And guys, some of these look just insane. We have the blue screen of death. <laughs> it mimics the blue screen of death. Now, I know this isn't legit because, <laughs> yeah, if that laugh couldn't entail anything. Because, obviously, the blue screen of death does not look like that in modern hardware, unless you've got, like, a really prehistoric system or something. But something even more hilarious is the Windows 10 spell. It looks like you're installing Windows. And it looks almost legit. Like, this is pretty convincing to me. Oh, goddamn Microsoft. Update your sh- All right, so we're configuring our update, guys. I'll be back when this update's done. Obviously, it's not an update, because you can, well, Oh no, you can't actually move around. Wait, wait, is my computer actually like, oh, oh, ha, it was just a, uh, totally just kidding. I knew it was a joke. I love that spell, one of my favorites. We have Wind Borium, rips your target's body. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> okay. And of course, if you just want to summon mother effing hell, we got Armageddon. <laughs> Summons a freaking nuke. Oh wait, I'm hearing more explosions. I think it summons a whole bunch of meteors too. Wow, what an incredible spell that one was. And obviously guys, I'm just scratching the surface. There's a ton of cool spells. You can see the way that they kind of connect to each other and I'm guessing the upgrade paths. So really have fun with this one. Um, there's a ton of great things. This one lets you kind of like warp. Oh my God, a little disorienting, but Really cool at the same time. Honestly, it's actually faster than no clip, so if that's more your speed. All right, next up, of course, if you guys couldn't tell by being in the Quidditch arena, it is time to bring out the broom. But obviously, we're here for the broom. You could summon the broom. I don't think you can customize it too much. Like, there's different kinds. This is the Firestar broom. We also have the Wabajack as a broom for some reason. I do remember this. This is a pretty old pack. Getting on it. <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor Snape looks so goofy. But we could fly around on our broom, wizard style. <laughs> See guys, you don't need to download freaking Hogwarts Legacy. You could just play this for 20 minutes and then get bored and then hate yourself for not buying the game. Or of course you can just watch this video to get hyped and then play it yourself right after because that's what I'm gonna be doing. So this broom is, it, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it. Left click does nothing. Right click allows you to disable camera rotation so that, you know, when you move, you can't actually like move with it. Uh, that kind of sucks, don't do that. But we can also re-enable it so that every time we move the camera, we actually do move ourselves. Now we also have these exploding balls, which I, I really couldn't, ow. All right, next up, we're gonna do the Firestar Broom. I don't know if this one's faster or better. Oh, it definitely is better because it shoots things out. Once again, guys, I've also done a video on this mod in particular. It's quite old though, so I thought, you know what, time to do a refresh. And uh, what a refresh it is. It's a good time to be a Harry Potter fan. Although, like I said, I don't think this is gonna be replacing Hogwarts Legacy anytime soon, but it was fun to at least try. But guys, I'm gonna leave you with one of the most overpowered spells that we have. Guys, let me know what is your favorite house in Harry Potter, if you're a big Harry Potter fan or even any fan at all. I would love to know down below, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, or of course the best of all, Ravenclaw. You can leave a like, subscribe, links will be in the description as always guys, have a fantastic day. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.